Right, you're watching the review show of hot stocks. Okay, so Mark, that was last week. We've talked about where the portfolio is, um, but the chart you've got to show us now talks about the way that the Aussie 40 has been moving and the RAND has been moving. And your concern is, I think, that uh, there's been a bit of a breakdown in what is normally a fairly reliable relationship. Just take us through yeah, that. I mean, over the last uh, two weeks or so, RAND hedges basically are not working. Um, the, the they are not working. No, the, okay. the range, <laughs> they're, they're, they're broken. Something's, something's, there's a disconnect. So the, the chart demonstrates. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It can be a bit of a problem. Um, you know, with the, the RAND weakening, um, shares are not going up and vice versa. So there is some disconnect, and the chart demonstrates that. And something is not happening. And by the RAND hedges, you mean the big cap RAND hedges that drive the Aussie 40, like British America Tobacco, Sasol, uh, Richmond, Naspers, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so much of the earnings from our, in our companies, I mean, we are basically, we, we have a foreign index on our, on our doorstep as such. Because it's not just the earnings, it's also the fact that these prices are typically made in foreign markets That's and right. then re retranslated here as a function of the exchange yeah. rate. And it's not, it's not from a doom and gloom point of view either. It's just there's, there, there is something, something's off kilter at the moment. Mm. Okay, so what that reflects is that it's, if anything, just a less certain world right now than normally is the case. Yeah, I mean, it can indicate one of two things. It can indicate that somebody's, some, somebody's uh, or, or rather financial markets are now saying um, either the RAND is, is undervalued or our market is overvalued, but not, not both at the same time, if mm. you know what I mean, which mm. is a very, very strange kind of setup to have. Mm. So, so how do we mitigate against this strange setup, or haven't you come up with a solution yet because it's so strange? It's, it's very, very difficult because, I mean, you can't, you know, you're looking at situations now where the, the market, because there's a, there's a mispricing or, 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 in essence, a kind of arbitrage situation as such, one is forced even into taking the view, you know, quite a strong view on where the rand is going to be over the next few weeks. Mm. With the recent uh, surprise BOP numbers that we had uh, recently on the upside, um, you know, we, we, we were quite pleasantly surprised with that. Market seems to be uh, the, the rand market seems to be US dollars are seems to be top siding. We seem to know where we're sitting there, but the issue then becomes earnings in rand hedge shares. If the rand is going to appreciate, those earnings are going to come off yep. and come off quite materially. So that kind of indicates that the fact that the index might be a little bit overpriced in the medium term. Mm. But you're but not going to be too concerned about no, that. No, like my plan, and from a trading point of view, is to ignore all of this. I mean, it's very interesting to talk about it. But I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry for you, Mark. <laughs> but all your good earnings in these companies come from a depreciated rent. No, no. So. Look, my sense would be the currency is going to kind of hold its current levels because it's not as though the emerging market dramas have gone away. Brazil has still got its issues. Ukraine still got its issues, uh, Turkey has still got its issues, we've got our own issues. So uh, having said that, I don't expect currencies to balloon out uh, you know, too terribly because some of the hysteria of January is sort of, in my world anyway, passed. Mm. So I'm kind of rand neutral as I approach what we own. But in any event, uh, you know, it takes a while for those reports to get in reported, not mm. so, those results yeah. to get reported. I, I, think, I think the net effect of this is that it makes us um, even more closely attached to the EM story over the next few weeks and what emerges there. Mm. Because, uh, you know, if we know the RAND is going to be banded and we know our, in, our kind of income stream potentially is going to be banded, we're going to track the perception of EM. We're going to track the uh, impact of uh, currencies against the RAND, which is a principal EM traded pair. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of track EM news headlines very, very carefully. That would be the, the prediction. All right, but he's still going to ignore helpful. it. Helpful. <laughs> it, it is helpful, though. No, we will, because, you know, we've got a number of key stocks in there that would be very much in view with regard to this thing. So, you know, there's British American Tobacco in our portfolio, there's Richmond, there's MTN, there's Sassel, all the ones we're talking about. Mm.